Coach PJ here. I believe there are really two types of employees. There are those employees that you can give tasks to in more of a con conceptual way and they can execute on them. They can put structure around them, they can plan them. They don't need detailed instructions on every last thing that you need and every last thing that needs to get done. They can put things together conceptually into a process, into a end result. And I'll call those the manager levels because they're used to managing concepts, managing tasks, managing people. And therefore, they're great at taking a concept and making it, and implementing it, making it, stru putting structure around it, documenting it, putting it in place. And then there are the other types of employees, which I'll call team members. These are folks that are great at doing the job you've put in front of them, but they need more direction, more definition to their job. The, con the concepts need to be very um, structured and need to be understood at a, at a level that is much uh, more micro versus a manager, which is more macro. And let me give you some examples. If I tell a manager to go organize something, organize an event, organize a, uh, um, a program, and I give them the vision that I have for it, I give them the intent, what, why I'm doing it, what I'm going after, what I want the result to be, any guidelines I have for that, they can go create that. Now, they, I want them to check in and I want them to give feedback and I, I don't want them to do it necessarily in a, uh, in a bubble, but I do want them to take the freedoms and not need me or need the, the leader for a lot of direction. The second type of employee, if I ask for something to get done, I'm more directive, way more directive. I want you to set this up and then this up and then this up and I walk through the steps describing exactly what I want done, potentially giving them examples, potentially having them work on one discrete piece at a time so that they can get that done and then they can come back to me and then they can come back with, okay, what's next, what's next? And I'm not giving them, I'm not overwhelming them. I'm not giving them so much that they can't figure out where to start. They can't figure out you know, what's most important. Uh, they, they don't need as much judgment in that case. They tend to need um, just the definition of what the tasks are. So if you have, have employees, think about where do they fall? Are they more on the manager side or are they more on the team member side? And it, it does make a difference in how you work with them and how you direct them. Uh, I work with a, no, a number of people who have bought franchises. And when you buy a franchise, um, you can come from all different types of industries. You don't necessarily come from that industry. And you walk into a, a business model that you need to execute. And you may or may not have managed managers. You may or may not have managed what I would call more team members. And that often colors and, and is the filter upon which folks look at their team and how they hire. Uh, I've had clients who hire what they th hire a group of folks, treat them like managers, but they've actually hired team members and they're frustrated because they're needing to quote unquote micromanage them to get work done. And that's because of the person they hired, the type of employee they hired is more of a team member than a manager. So when you're looking at, your, at your, your collective organization, look at where do they fall? Are they able to take a concept and make it and implement it and make it so, or do they need a lot more direction and clarity and potentially templates or structure or check-ins? Is it a lot more um, touch points in the process of them doing something? Um, I love my analogies. <clears throat> So I will use the analogy of kids because that's always a, a pretty good one for this analogy. Think about the difference being between younger kids where you say, go clean your room, and older kids where when you say, go clean your room, you have a different expectation. And oftentimes they'll be like, well, this is clean. Well, no, 
what I want you to do is X, Y, Z. I want you to pick up this. I want you to pick up that. I want you to make sure this happens. So you have to be much more discreet, much more uh, clear on the details versus with a teenager, with an older child, where you say, this is what I expect. Because they've had those experiences. They've gone through this process before. They've understood what it means to organize or to clean something. And they have a different frame of reference that they can pull upon because just the amount of experience they have under their belt. If you like what I had to say here today, subscribe, comment below. Love to hear your analogies and what you're doing with your team members. And I'm just, I'm here to help you get the business you deserve. Your business profit. Until next time.